I can't believe it's already Christmas. I got nothing done. We're about uh, a week away from Christmas here, and uh, boy, I got no Christmas gifts for anybody. I got nothing. So I don't know what I've been doing, but uh, got nothing done. So what we're gonna do today? We're gonna do our uh, our second wine rack in our wine rack series. Um, do we have a wine rack series? We don't have a wine rack series. Okay. Oh uh, well. Whatever, we're just, we're just doing our second wine rack here. Um, this one's kind of cool compared to the other one. The other one that I made last year was just to store bottles. Uh, this one here is, uh, actually has a bottle and a wine glass, and it can come in two different styles. It can come in a single version, like I have made here, or it can come in uh, a, double, a double stacked one. So here it is. Holds uh, one bottle of wine and two wine glasses. It'll look real nice sitting on your countertop. The wife will love it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I make this thing. Um, now, like I told you last year, uh, the uh, horseshoes are about uh, two bucks a piece. So you got two, four, six, eight, about ten bucks there. And the two on the top, these two little ones here. These are smaller, these are number zeros. The ones down here, these are number ones. So I use the small ones on top because the wine glasses are a little small and the, they seem to almost fall through the bigger, the bigger horseshoe, the number ones. So I believe they go down to double zero. So a double zero might be an option for that top, the top two horseshoes there. But uh, the rest of it doesn't really matter. So you can use uh, ones or zeros probably it wouldn't matter um, the one issue we ran into um, we have some wine glasses upstairs that uh, the neck is really long here and they hit on the bottom here so you got to take that into consideration too um, now there is a double stack version of this the double stack version would just have another horseshoe on top here before you put these little ones on and uh, we'll, we'll make one of those too so you can see what it looks like. All right, so what I did is I made a little fixture to hold these horseshoes in place here. I start out, start out I made a, made a little drawing of my horseshoe here on the, on the uh, board and uh, I lay that first one in there that way I get them, get them somewhat straight. So all this is is a block of wood with a couple of finishing nails in couple of finishing nails that I can pull out after it's welded. So I just set that on there. And you're putting the, uh, the back of the horseshoe to the board. Now these, uh, I talked about this last year on the one I made. Um, I bought the sandblasted ones now. So, um, I don't have to do any sanding or grinding on these at all. They're, they're really clean. I mean, they're a little bit of rust on because they've been sitting down here all winter, or all summer, I should say. Um, we have a wet basement, so they're, uh, they get a little rusty. But uh, there's no scale or nothing on them. I don't have to grind them or nothing. They're just, they're really nice and clean. So I can just put them together and weld them up, making it go really quick. Um, so anyhow, the back to the board. I'm just sticking that uh, nail through the little holes that are in the horseshoe itself. Then I have the uh, I have the bottom of the horseshoe. I have the bottom of the horseshoe sitting in that slot that's in the horse uh, that's in the top of the other horseshoe there. Uh, it kind of kind of holds it all together like that. So now what I'm doing. The first one I did, the uh, the prototype, um, these weren't, I didn't have these quite level here on top. So when I put the other pieces on, it wasn't quite straight and whatever. So I've corrected that by using a little, just taking a little piece of plywood here. And I set that on there. The first thing I do is make sure that all, all of them are touching. And I just, I just moved this piece of wood that I made, this little fixture. Just move it back and forth until I get that so that they're sitting straight. And I put my little level on there and I just uh, 
There you go, bubbles in the middle. Check it that way. Bubble should be in the middle that way, but okay. So I got those, they're straight now, and they're all touching, all four corners are touching. So now I'm just gonna take a take a heavy piece of metal and set it in there. Just for some weight to hold it down while I strike my arc. I have to kind of put in a full size rod because I have to kind of reach through underneath this other piece and I have to weld um, underneath the board here towards the back. Close your eyes. Welding one nice feet along the back side of that, uh, that leg. And I'm just going to rotate this around. Weld up the other one. Okay, so it's, it's that simple. I'm going to take my piece, my heavy piece of metal out of there. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but I just have a weld. I welded the hole all the way across there in the back. Both sides. That's solid as can be. That's not going to go anywhere now. Now we have to do the two little ones. So for those, just I'm gonna move this out of the way here. I'm just gonna lay them down on my board. I just have them laying on my board like that. I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna flip it over on top of there. Okay. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to try and I'm trying to get these the little ones somewhat straight. And they're they're you know straight to each other. And at the same time, I'm trying to center the leg of the other of the bigger horseshoe in the center of this arc here. They're kind of in the center, so when you weld them, they're somewhat centered. It's just an eyeball thing. I'm going to set my piece of wood on top of there again. I'm going to see how straight I am. So I'm off a little bit. So I have some uh, some shims here. I just take uh, old uh, clothespins and uh, use them as shims. So basically what happens when you when you weld something and you only weld on one side like that, you're, it twists the metal a little bit. So, so this board used to be loose. Now it's now it's really tight because it, the it just sucks the metal in and makes it tight. So now that now when I set this up like that, there's a, a little gap on the back one there, a little gap on the front one here, and that's fine. That's I can fill that in with weld. There's no big deal there, you know. So the main thing is to get it somewhat level so that when you set it on your countertop that the wine bottle and the glasses are going to sit straight. You know, if you don't have a level, you're not going to sit straight. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to throw some weight on top of there. Alright. That's it, we're good to go. We're going to weld this up. We're going to, so now I'm going to I'm going to reach through here. I'm 
Now I'm going to reach through here and I'm going to weld on the, the back sides of all of these legs. Okay? I'm just using a uh, 3 30 seconds rod, uh, 6011 is the number on there. That's uh, got to do with the grade of the rod and the coating, um, which allows you to go verticals and whatever. Different types of coating is there to uh, create a different effect. Um, and, I, and I got my welder set at about uh, 75 amps, uh, and I'm just burning one good bead that I'm making sure both of them pieces are welded together. Um, and all you're holding is a wine glass, so it doesn't have to be nothing real heavy welding or nothing. Again, this would be a great uh, great job for like a TIG welder, um, which I don't have, it's on my list. But, uh, I don't know. You know, maybe Santa will be nice to me this year, who, who knows. All right, there it is. Just, just like that, it's that simple. But now I got, uh, Take these, pull these nails back out of here. A little closer look at those welds under there. I mean, it's nothing, nothing fancy. Um, once I clean it up, I got to knock all these BBs and stuff off. Once I get them all knocked off and you get it painted, I mean, you can't, you won't see that. It's gonna be sitting on the countertop like this. Nobody will see that. So there you go. There's. Uh, Here's rack number one. Okay, that's the single version. Why don't we go ahead and do a double version quick. We'll put the double version together quick. So for that uh, single version there, um, you got two, four, five horseshoes. For a double version, you're gonna have seven. All right, you're gonna need uh, two on the top and then you're gonna need a second a second set of the middle legs. So you need seven all together. So there's my seven. So for the double stack the uh, the uh, first half of it is the same as the single. So I already made that up. So then what I did is uh, I have to stack another another two horseshoes on top of there. And that is where it gets tricky trying to hold all of this uh, together. So what I did is I made another little jig. Um, I cut two boards that were, what I determined was the distance between the, the uh, two horseshoes here when they're sitting on top. So I cut them and uh, I have a clamp on there holding it together and this one's just kind of squashed in there. Um, so that's gonna hold them and that's gonna hold them flat down on the table, okay? So they're, they're tight now on the table. But I'm gonna take this guy, I'm gonna flip it over on top. And I'm just gonna set that on there and I'm gonna use my level again here. What I ended up doing here, uh, it got a little twisted in my first setup. So it's critical in the first setup to try and get this as straight as you can. Um, I had to grind on the ends of the opposite corners here to get that to sit a little better. Um, but now it's sitting, it's sitting good. I got my level, my level's good and square. So I'm just gonna throw some weight on top of there. Kind of like that game uh, Jenga or whatever, where if you just move one thing and the whole thing's gonna fall over. Well, whatever. So, 
we got that level now, but we're going to tack that on there. Wine here, bottle of wine here, and your glasses are going to hang. And your glasses are going to hang out that way. Alright, so let's get those on there. So these are going to get welded on just, just like they did on the other, on the other, uh, on the single version. I'm going to kind of eyeball them so they're straight, weld them up. simple. Let's go see what that looks like with a bottle of wine in it. So here's what I was talking about earlier. Um, I used the number ones on here because I'm running low on the zeros and I want to use the zeros for the single ones. So uh, like I said we got a couple of wine glasses upstairs that have the real long legs on it but here's a standard wine glass. They're about three inches across. Okay, It falls right through there. So I'm going to go get those uh, bigger wine glasses and see uh, see if they fit this thing. So here's a little bit bigger wine glass that fits in there. You probably want to go with a little bigger, one of those big, big giant uh, wine glasses. Because uh, this is sitting down too low now. I put the wine, the wine bottle in down here, see it's hitting. sit there but this side ain't gonna it's not gonna sit right so definitely want to take that into consideration is uh go with the zeros zeros or double zeros for the top two rings um, the rest of them don't matter so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel um we'll have a lot more of this stuff coming up this next year we got a lot of stuff going on